All right, guys, thanks for coming to the next video. At this point, I want to show you how to get a calculated speed. Now, I'm, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to point out exactly what's happening with this team that I've put in. This is the same speed, same team that I'm running currently in my clan boss. Now, I did this specifically. My champion here, my second champion, it's Steel Skull. He has a, on a four turn cooldown, has an increased defense buff. Now, that's very crucial for my team. It helps me last probably an extra 10 or 15 turns in the fight. So it's really important that I have that going up right before each AOE happens. So I wanted to make sure that my clan boss, my champion, excuse me, would move at a 4-3 speed ratio, basically taking four turns for every three turns the clan boss takes. Well, to get that, I do need the calculated speeds because as I'm going to show you, these speeds don't actually work. Now, you'll notice here at turn five, he does take two, tur two turns for the one of the clan boss after that second AOE. And then when we get to turn nine, he finally fully hits the cycle. He gets in sync and should hit a repeatable pattern at this point. He takes two turns right after the stun, right before both AOE. So he can use that ability like I wanted. But if you notice, it doesn't repeat. He's moving at a different speed. He's moving at a 5-4 speed ratio. He's taking five turns for every four turns the clan boss is taking. That's a problem. That's not what I want. And the thing is, this actually works. And so let me show you why. The first thing is speed sets. Speed sets are gonna modify your speed based off of your base speed. So I need to put both of those statistics in there in order to get a calculated speed, get the exact price, precise speed my champions are moving at. Because in the game, it only shows you the rounded out amount. So rounded up or down. Anyway, let's, let me show you. So this is Tayrell. He moves at a base speed of 95 and he does use one speed set. You'll notice his calculated speed is actually 191.4. That 0.4 could have a big difference. My Steel Skull, base speed of 111, one speed set. He also has the lore of master, or lore of Steel Mastery, which is going to affect things. So if he has lore of Steel Mastery, you want to click that. But his calculated speed comes out to 229.32. And then my, la my next champion, Rosin, 91 base speed, one speed set, no lore of Steel Mastery. His calculated speed is actually under the total speed of 178, just rounded up. So these kind of things are important. I don't have a speed set on my champion four Septimus. I do have one on my last champion Valkyrie. And that's the one that's important. Did you guys notice? Did you see this move? Here, let me take that away and show you again. So turn nine, we get two, two moves after the stun. You notice champion five doesn't actually go here. And then turn 12, we only have one turn after the stun for champion two. As soon as I calculate that speed set, changes its calculated speed from 171 to 171 and a half, essentially, everything falls into sync. We're taking two turns after the stun, and Valkyrie's taking her turn as well. And then the next stun, same thing. S Steel Skull is taking two turns after the stun, and Valkyrie goes. She's taking one, two, three, four turns for every three of the clan boss. A four, three speed ratio, exactly what we wanted. So that's why having those speed sets and the base speed is so important, along with that lore of mastery skill. So that's how you use the speed sets, how you use the calculated speed. And it's gonna be very important to coming up with a precise speed tune for your team. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how we put in the cooldowns for our skills, and we can use those skills and we can use the calculator to track those skills throughout the fight.